Hey guys, Dark Skeleton here to take a look at the Anima Golem, one of the cards that was just announced by Blizzard for the Goblins vs. Gnomes expansion set. So these Goblins vs. Gnomes expansion set cards keep getting me more and more giddy about what's going to happen when things come out. And this is another one of those cards which are crazy and that they could be really good but would have to be played in a very unique deck. It has 9-9 stats for 6 mana which is absolutely absurd, but it does have the insane drawback that at the end of any turn, if this is the only minion on your side of the field, it will die instantly. Now this does make me think of other cards that are coming out like Memoron's Head, where basically if your opponent fails to deal with your board, you win the game. It's that same kind of deal here, if you leave this 9-9 on the field, he's going to be very, very destructive to your opponent. Now in order for this card to work, you have to be playing very durable minions that aren't going to be removed so easily, or you have to be playing a lot of minions and hope that your opponent doesn't play some crazy AoE effect. I think that the best bet for an animal golem to really work would be to be playing other death rattle mech cards like a piloted shredder, a piloted sky golem, or maybe Sneed's old shredder. Each of those cards are mechs with a great death rattle effect, and are also difficult to remove in that you basically have to kill each creature twice to really remove it. In conjunction with an anima golem, I could see something like that working. But I think for you to really pull this guy off and ever to have him last around for more than one turn, your opponent would have already pretty much had to lose the game because they're out of removal options, and you're already far ahead with a big board presence. So maybe this card kind of falls into the same category as cards like Bloodlust in that it's more of a win more kind of card, but with no death rattle effect, no divine shield, and an enormous drawback, I think this card's just too vulnerable to be good in most decks. It's possible he'll see some play, but I'm not that huge of a fan, honestly. So I've been Dark Skeleton. If you enjoy my videos, please consider donating to my Patreon. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.